I want to spend a little time this afternoon talking about Palmer amaranth identification. As most of you are probably aware, this weed is becoming very important. Um, it's becoming somewhat widespread, particularly across the northern one-third of the state. And we feel like uh, we need to do all we can to continue to raise awareness of this weed because it does, it does present a, arguably the most serious agronomic weed challenge that we've had in Indiana in quite some time. And the first thing you need to look at is to look at uh, whether or not there's hairs on the plant. So your red root and smooth pigweed that are common within the state are gonna have hairs on them. Palmer amaranth and common water hemp will not have hairs on them. So on these plants, if we look in at the growing points, we cannot find any hairs on those stems or on, on any of the leaf surfaces, indicating to us that we either have Palmer amaranth or water hemp. Next thing, the big thing to look at is the petiole length. So with these plants, as we look at these first true leaves, we can see how long these petioles are. And this petiole, the structure that connects the leaf blade to the plant itself, is actually longer than the leaf blade. And that's the real big key that we look for is petiole length. And our common water hemp, that petiole will only be half the length of that long linear leaf. It's a very distinguishing characteristic of Palmer amaranth is the fact that the leaf pattern will have a, uh, a relatively uniform rosette shape to it. And typically this occurs once the plants hit about six inches tall or more. Another characteristic that is uh, indicative of Palmer amaranth are these long terminal seed heads on the female plants. Most of our other pigweed species, particularly red root or smooth, will have short, compact seed heads, probably only about this long. A Palmer amaranth and the, the female plants have this long terminal seed head. When you grab it, it will be prickly. It will actually kind of grab your hand and uh, and again, is another indication of how much of a problem this weed can be because this thing is, is going to be just loaded with, with seed. Some palmer plants, not all of them, but some of them will have this watermark. So it's a white V, a white chevron is what it looks like. And some of our palmer plants will have this, some won't. It's a variable between plants. But it's, again, another thing we can use to help confirm that it's palmer amaranth. Another thing we can see on this plant is in those leaf tip notches, the other secondary thing we can look for is that little hair. That hair and that leaf tip notch that we typically will not find in our water hemp plants. So those are two characteristics you can look at along with that rosette shape that Bill talked about and the long petiole length that are going to help you identify and characterize water hemp against Palmer amaranth. If you're in the field, if you think you've identified Palmer in the field, you can send us pictures, either Bill or myself, and uh, to help us uh, see where Palmer is at in the state and we can help keep other producers educated of where Palmer amaranth is at. This isn't a problem that we're going to face as individuals. As an industry, as we mentioned earlier, this is arguably the most important agronomic weed problem that, that we've had in the state in quite some time. And so it's going to take an integrated approach from a number of different people in order to try to keep this thing at bay.